If you want to get your kid introduced to astronomy, this 15 millimeter telescope may be just the right thing to get them into it. You get one 20 millimeter eyepiece and one six millimeter piece. 20 millimeter can give you a zoom of 18 times and the six mil gives you a zoom of 60 times, which is crazy. There's also this erected eyepiece, which gives you an additional 1.5 X zoom. So this way your 18 X zoom will become 27 X and your 60 will become 90. Stay tuned for the whole video. We just finished up our backyard, so we're gonna have a great view of the stars. So we wanted to introduce astronomy to our little guy. This is a 50 millimeter lens. It's obviously not gonna get you all the way to the moon, but you can see a little bit better in terms of the birds in the sky. And we're gonna show examples of how well it magnified. So the kit comes with absolutely everything and it's pretty portable and pretty small. So it's small enough for you to pack up and take camping with you, which is obviously where you're going to get the best stars outside of the city. While this 50 mil is a great introductory telescope, you may want to up your game at 70 millimeter aperture or even 80 millimeter aperture with an attachment for your phone if you find that your kid is really, really into this. Those two also come with a bag and of course they get a better view of the moon and the stars, especially when you go camping. That's where the portable bag comes. But let's get back into our assemble the 50 millimeter. All right, so also. here's everything that you get. Let's go and put it together. So this is your tripod. This is the azimuthal mount. That's what it's called. So we're going to go and secure the main telescope tube inside it with the provided screw and bolt. Position the mount looking forward, take your tube looking forward and then just place it right here these screws here will line up next take this press this through both holes and screw it through flip it over and place the bolt on here so the mount allows you to go all the way vertically up to about 65 degrees down and while you're doing that it allows you to rotate all the way around 360 degree. This you obviously want to tighten as well. This will keep the tripod from collapsing. All right, so once everything's set up, you take out your additional pieces here. So these are your prisms. So for this telescope, you get one 20 millimeter eyepiece and one six millimeter piece. And a 20 millimeter can give you a zoom of 18 times. And the six mil gives you a zoom of 60 times, which is crazy. We've got the moon lens. It says moon on it. For your clarification, the moon eyepiece is actually green glass. It's not a lens. So when you put this in a telescope, this glass is going to save you from light exposure when you're looking at the moon. There's also this erected eyepiece, which gives you an additional 1.5x zoom. So you can place this erected eyepiece like this, and the other eyepiece will go on top of this. So this way your 18x zoom will become 27x, and your 60 will become 90. Now you're going to note that there's these screws here, you need to loosen for this to slide in and you can slide it all the way in and then tighten it back in. All right? if you want to swap this out again, just loosen this up, take out your prism. So again, this is the H20. The diameter of the lens is 50 mil and it's a coated lens. Now this is adjustable. Now let's see if I can show you. First, let's start with that building, which is almost 200 meters away. So as you can see, this is pretty okay when it comes on 18X. I also just noticed that my phone camera is not showing the same results as this telescope because it's blurring out some of the image. Now let's try that with the 60X. Whoa, this is your 60X zoom. So as you can see, it's pretty clear. And you can see the top of the building pretty clearly. Now let's go and use the moon lens to see what we get. So this is a screenshot of the 18x zoom and this is the 60x zoom. And this is the live video of this with the erected eyepiece that I also put that green moon lens on. So if you want to get your kid introduced to astronomy, this 15 millimeter telescope may be just the right thing to get them into it. And that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.